Hi all, welcome to our vision board community. So today we have a guest called Saurav. So Saurav will be given some kind of insight about how he cracked Azure Data Engineering journey. And he will give you a lot of motivation regarding uh, the journey and what are the things he learned and how the interview process. So that will give you some insight and whoever want to come in, into your cloud community or cloud data engineering part, uh, I think Saurav podcast will be really, really helpful. So welcome Saurav, welcome to the Vision Board community. Hey, hi, Devi. Hi. hi. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. So, really happy to invite you to this podcast. So, first of all, Saurav, can you give some introduction about you uh, regarding your data community? It will be really helpful. Uh, yeah, sure, Devi. So, I have been working as a uh, ETL developer since five years. So, I have started with Informatica and I worked on uh, Unix, uh, Oracle, and all this stuff. Okay. And uh, yeah, since uh, five years, I've been working in the same technology. So okay. like I wanted to change like a uh, couple of years back, I wanted to change, but I didn't get any opportunity in my current project since they were uh, not uh, willing to release me. Okay. So yeah, I was thinking of changing to any cloud platform like IICS or uh, AWS or Azure. Okay. Okay. So I think uh, some months back, I got to know about the vision board community and uh, I saw that many people and Azure data mix also, it's uh, like booming right right now in the data engineering field. It's very booming compared to AWS also. I know AWS is the market leader, but uh, for data engineering, I think uh, Azure is the best one. So yeah, I saw yeah some videos of uh, you and others as, as well so i thought of you know um, joining the community and uh, it will help me to you know uh, get a career boost as a okay. azure data engineer wow. yeah really? so that's how i got to know about your community and it really helped me to you know uh, crack a good job now yeah mm -hmm. so yeah thank you so Rup, actually, uh, when you uh, coming, you already mentioned about coming from the ETL developer role, Informatica. This is the one uh, question I got in the community people also because frequently asking questions. They are asking me how the transition will be easy because you also know, right? Informatica is an old tool. So coming mm -hmm. Informatica to Azure Data Engineering, it will be very difficult in some time, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I want to but, say that Informatica, it's the ETL tool. So whatever we're doing in uh, uh, Azure Data, because right, it's kind of ETL as well. So uh, Informatica, you can say it's like a basic uh, platform. So if oh. you know Informatica and SQL, I think it will be a bit easy for you. Like uh, if you're an ETL developer, you'll grasp it easily. Because okay, don't in, need to be uh, fear about, right? Don't need to be fear about learning yeah, Azure yeah. factory. Yeah, because anyways, you'll know about SQL. So if you know about SQL, SQL is the main thing uh, in uh, Databricks, right? Uh -huh. So all the manipulating data, cleaning data. So that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. So um, Python also, you don't need to know much. PySpark mm -hmm. is the main thing that you need to uh, study. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you're coming from an ETL developer background or you have a basic understanding of SQL, it will be like uh, very easy for you, really easy for you. Okay, yeah. and uh, because some people ask me the way actually I'm coming from this one, it will be very difficult for me. And how much time uh, you should take, uh, Saurabh, at least for the learning path and cracking the interview level? What are the steps you followed? So basically, uh, you can start with SQL, as I mentioned. And also basic Python uh, is needed, actually. They won't ask much Python uh, these days. Okay. So basic Python is required. And the main thing is uh, PySpark. So what I did was, since my SQL uh, background was good, so I concentrated more, more on the PySpark stuff. PySpark and the Spark act, uh, architecture as well, because so sometimes they'll be asking about the Spark architecture, because that is the building block of you know database, right? So they'll be asking about the Spark architecture and PySpark is also, um, you know, it's really important. So I mostly focused on the PySpark stuff. Mm, yeah. to crack on the interviews levels right and yeah. uh, any kind of like a, a coding platform coming into the coding platform uh, do you get any kind of coding platform to do writing the PySpark code and all anything you used while attending like interviews and all like hack or uh, anything 
Uh, yeah, so for SQL, some lead code questions I have tried. Mm -hmm. I can't, I have not tried it. I'll uh, use that surely. Uh, no. But for, uh, you know, sandbox kind of a tool, I think Databricks Community Edition is good. Mm -hmm. Or if your company is providing any uh, free Databricks account, like with free cluster, some companies will be providing it. So you can make use of that. So oh. Databricks Community Edition, you can yeah, practice Python and both PySpark as well. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. And one yeah. more question, like a regarding like a Python, you mentioned like Python question you got. Uh, how the interview process? They will be asking you to. They are asking one real time scenario, then asking you to share your screen, writing the code. How is the process? It looks like. Yeah. So basically, sometimes they'll be asking a, a SQL question, like okay. uh, get the second highest salary or anything like based on aggregation or anything. And first, okay. they'll ask you to write in SQL, and the same code they'll ask you to write in PySpark as well. Oh, or, okay. uh, yeah, they'll be asking you to write in different uh, write in different formats or write in, write into multiple files, such mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Okay. So, uh, the yeah, interest that I came across uh, till now, they have asked like basic to medium kind of questions. Mm -hmm. uh, but going forward, I'm sure I'll be getting more questions, more uh, high level questions as well. Yeah because these days it will be 2024 some changes happen in the uh like a PySpark coding and all someone some people are sharing some hacker and greens or something to solve the problems and that's why i'm just just asking that kind of platform you get while solving these kind of off, like a questions and all nothing right just asking like a sharing your screen writing the PySpark yeah. code and all. yeah 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 okay and uh, one more thing i just want to ask like uh what is the Question, for example, if people are, uh, one of the question like people are learning things, but they are not able to crack the interview. So what suggestion or what are the things you can make a suggestion to them? You can focus on these topic or these questions will be repeatedly you are getting in the interviews. Yeah, so there are some questions which will be repeated if you see if you uh, attend some interview, interviews, right? So there'll be some pattern, like they'll be asking uh, window functions, oh. uh, doing some aggregations oh. and writing it into parquet file, writing, reading data from uh, some file mm -hmm. and you know using with columns and all this stuff. So these are like uh, many, these are questions which will be definitely asked. So you have to practice on these questions. Okay. And also they might ask on SCD1 and SCD2 uh -huh. So that is also uh, really important, uh, uh -huh. I guess. Is it like uh, a code just concept they're asking? So for me, they didn't ask, but uh, I saw that they will be asking about the concept itself. But uh -huh. I think if you know the approach, if you tell that we have to do this way, that will be also fine. Mm -hmm. Because entire code, it will take some time. Right? So the approach, how we'll do, that will be also fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. And apart from that, anything else uh, we want to uh, For me, I think the Spark architecture, they have asked uh, uh, some questions. So it's good if you know, you know Spark uh, architecture as well, like uh, uh, the master slave architecture and uh, what is the execute white transformation and this uh, narrow transformation and all those stuff. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, Spark architecture, I got some questions on that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, and this is the kind of question everyone need to be focused, right? While act before yeah. acting like an interview and all. Yeah, and yeah, sure. Then one more, the last question. So, what are the uh, like a motivation or what are the suggestion or advice you can give to the community member who are really struggling for the transition? So, how you motivate or how uh, you can you can give a like a new life to them? Uh, yeah. So what I would say is uh, go through the past in interview experiences. What are questions they have asked? Practice more on that. So the main thing is you have to practice on PySpark and uh, SQL. That is the uh, main stuff because those are the building blocks uh, of the data engineering uh, world, right? So PySpark and SQL, uh, just practice on that. And uh, another thing is, uh, I think every, everyone should do this. Use uh, ChatGPT and Gemini. You have to use it. Because uh, if you have any doubt, right, you just have to ask it and you'll get the, uh, you know, almost 90% of the time you'll get the correct answer. So I, I've been using chat, GPT and Gemini if I have any doubt, like, it, it's like very, it's, learning is very easy these days because uh, 
charge because of charge gpt and you know gemini and, and all like that yeah okay. i think uh, yeah that's it yeah just you have to practice on pyspark and uh, sql okay. and you have to brush up on the you know basic stuff like a spark architecture and all yeah oh. okay this i uh, really thanks sauro because you are sharing your valuable information i think maybe some of your words will helping others it will be really nice so anyway i am wish you you will get a more offer letter in the coming days and uh, after that also you can share some of the like what are the questions or what other things you are the experience also you can share in the next time <laughs> right so sure, devi thank you thanks a lot for your support and i uh, my yeah yeah i'm aiming for more uh, offer letters as well yeah, yeah, yeah i know you'll help me and yeah thank you definitely. thank for the community also yeah. part of the help i can do from my side i will help you definitely so we can achieve more because when we focusing more things that will be coming into our life right so that way like a community we can together practice then we can achieve more goals okay yeah, thank, yeah. You so yeah. thank you so much thank you for the time yeah thank you bye